Okay, so um, so what we just found is that the points of constant phase on a wave move with the phase velocity, which is equal to omega over k. So again, if we just choose any point of constant phase, let's choose this point at the top here, this peak. It's easier to keep track of. It's easiest to keep track of. It will move to the right with v, with the velocity omega over k. Okay, and all points of constant phase will move to the right with velocity omega over k. Now, um, what we'll discuss in a second is that since we've learned that particles can also be thought of as having wave-like properties and we can ascribe a wavelength to them. So in principle we can ascribe a wave function to them. Okay. Here this is a very simple wave function. It's just a, it's just a single sinusoidal varying function. Um, but we have to eventually ask the question whether the phase velocity of the that corresponds to the wave function of the particle, whether that actually correspond, whether that is actually the same as the velocity of the particle itself. Okay, that's a little bit of a complicated question. It's a little bit of a subtle question, but we'll see, and it, we'll answer that question in just a little in just a little while. But first, we should also note. Okay, if we take the derivatives of the um, the space the space the uh, the x and time derivative of our wave function here. So let's just do it. So dx, sorry, dy, dt is equal to um, uh, omega y sub zero sine kx minus omega t and the minus sign goes away because you have a minus from der derivative cosine and then a minus with there okay and um, and then also d the second derivative with respect to time is equal to now now there's the minus sign uh, y sub zero cosine uh, kx minus omega t. Okay? And if we do this for the uh, the, the spatial derivative, dy, uh, the, the derivative with respect to x, then we get something similar. Okay, there I've written it down to save time. And then what we notice is that if we derive, if we divide this top expression by omega squared and this bottom expression by k squared, then those two things are equal to each other. Okay, so um, so one over k squared d the second derivative. Oops, this should be x squared. This should be this is an x squared um, is equal to. Okay, and so what we what we find is that um, d squared, the second derivative of the wave, with respect um, to position, minus k squared over omega squared times the um, second derivative with respect to time of the wave. Um, is equal to zero, and this is called the wave equation. Okay, and so our our wave here satisfies the wave equation, which is good in one dimension. And we find here is our expression. Here is this is related to our expression for the phase velocity. We see it's one over the phase velocity squared, and so this term here is just one over the phase velocity squared. Okay, and so this is a standard way of writing the different a differential equation. So a solution to this equation is our is our wave and any sinusoidal varying uh, function of the same form.